Uh, they say that good things come to those who wait. Our next story is indeed proof of that, because Dale and Marie Neal from Lancashire had gone through years of unsuccessful IVF treatment. To help cope with the thought that they may never have a child, Dale turned to writing children's stories. But ten years of trying finally paid off, and they now have a toddler, as you can see, and a five-book publishing deal. Oh, wow. Peter Marshall has been to meet them. My socks have gone loco. I'm feeling quite vexed. I really don't know what they're going to do next. Three years ago, this little scene was just a pipe dream for Dale and Marie Neal. They'd been through nine IVF cycles and had resigned themselves to the fact they may never have a child. Hairdresser Dale turned to writing children's poems and short stories to help him cope. It was like a, a therapy, I suppose, yeah. When I think about how things were only a, you know, a few short years ago, Things have turned around so much, it's, uh, it's, it's yeah, more than we could have dreamt for. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Essie was finally born 17 months ago. After 10 years of trying, Dale and Marie are now both in their 50s, and the poems and stories Dale dreamed up to help them through the hard times have now been published. This anthology, just the first in a five-book deal, a deal made all the more special by Essie. Everything else we were doing, or everything else I would have been doing, if we hadn't have had Essie, I don't think it would have meant much. I still can't believe that she's ours, you know, because it took so long, it took 10 years, so I mean, she's always only been with us 17 months, so it's still, it will, it always will be a miracle to us. But I'm so proud of Dale, a um, and to watch it just brings to tears to my eyes when I watch him read it to myself. <laughs> my Socks Have Gone Bonkers is illustrated by Mark Millicent, who's worked as a storyboard artist on Hollywood blockbusters. Inside, stories like My Grandad Bert's an Alien and Hippo in a Half Pipe. But will Essie grow to like them? I hope so. <laughs> to be a bit embarrassing if she didn't. <laughs> Either way, this family from Barraford near Nelson are counting their blessings. As much as it would have been nice to visit schools and to share these stories with children or to know that children in another country have enjoyed them, you, you still come back to your own life and Hello. there's nothing there. Hello. And that would have been horrendous. But now we have... I mean, guys, I, I can't... I, I'm struggling to find words to describe it, really, to be honest. It's... Um, I suppose everything is <laughs> the only word I can think of. Yay! Yay! Peter Marshall, BBC Northwest tonight, <laughs> Barraford. <laughs> oh, she's so worth waiting for, isn't she? Isn't she gorgeous? I love that. My socks Essie. have gone bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know what your socks are like, Owen. Oh, you're, you're very um, dapper. They're quite oh, boring quite, today. Mm, they're quite just just plain, the red aren't socks. They? Not bonkers mm. socks, those, are They'll they? They'll get wet on the walk to the car park, though, if you're not Yes, careful. they will. They're actually waterproof for that very purpose. No, they're not.